Hey kids, uh, before I start the 31 days of horror for Halloween, uh, just want to do a shout out to uh, two of our own who are uh, suffering some uh, medical issues, Q from uh, Q's Reviews and Jennifer Tochi. Uh, I just, you know, we're all thinking of it, of you and we're hoping for the best. Uh, I'm optimistic. I hope hope you are. Uh, well, in their honor, let is let's proceed on to schlock. Yes, uh, I I have decided to because uh, issues with time. Uh, I I skipped. 31 days yesterday and uh, and I I'm gonna do two on Saturday if everything works out the way it should uh, I'll do two on Saturday uh, just to make up for it it should it sh should go from there uh, but I decided to grab a movie from uh, one of these packs uh, the title here is Atomic Brain. Uh, the IMDB uh, has it as monstrosity, but they do reference. Uh, uh, they have a picture of uh, probably a, a poster for uh, uh, the Atomic Brain. Uh, I have a great enjoyment with schlock movies uh there it's kind of a mixed bag uh where you love the uh quite often twisted ass concepts that they can come up with uh but quite often they're not made by good filmmakers uh or directors uh, uh this director uh, Joseph V. Ma Mass Sell Sell Selly, but yeah, that's that should be it. Uh, there's a co-director. I guess he was one of the producers. Uh, Jack uh, Polexfin. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, uh, I, it's hard. It. it it, it's actually easy to uh, see because I was thinking through the movie sometimes it was this quality and sometimes it was that or different styles so the idea that uh, one director picked up uh, where the other director uh, left off but it, it goes back and forth through the whole movie it's not like all of a sudden uh, but uh, well the the movie's about uh, uh, the narrator. There's narration through a lot of this movie, especially in the beginning. Uh, but they were talking about the dangers of uh, 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 the impending brain transplant, and this is supposed to show uh, a situation that that would be true. <laughs> and uh, uh, this old lady. It, it, they're suggesting the the concept of old people don't want to die and they want to go back to being young and attractive. Uh, so this old rich old lady had employed, and it, this being somewhat Frankenstein in nature, uh, a uh, mad scientist named Dr. Frank, who has this weird enjoyment of transplanting animal brains in two people he has a dog boy you know he has uh he ends up eventually putting his favorite cat's brain into a woman's uh, head and uh it, i mean he seems to be enjoying it more than these are experiments because uh you know the rich old lady uh wants you know young a young body again so they end up luring three foreign women, uh, 
uh, British uh, uh, Marilyn Man uh, uh, Manson, Ma uh, Marilyn Monroe wannabe, uh, a Spanish woman that can't really speak uh, too much English, and uh, uh, probably the most intelligent or, I mean, intelligence is not part of the makeup of these three actually, but she seems the most mature, I guess. Uh, the reason why <laughs> uh, it ends up being like, how can they just believe anything? I don't, they're supposed to be there for like to take care of the old woman. And the first red flag is they didn't know, we, uh, you know, there was going to be a, another two uh, doing the job. It's the same job and you end up having three people uh, show up for the same job. That's a red light. <laughs> uh, then the next red light is when they get to the house and, and uh, uh, the old lady's uh, assistant slash lover uh, is a uh, well he ends up saying uh, you can't leave. I mean, what does that tell you? <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, right away, it's like you end up having uh, the uh, Marilyn uh, Monroe uh, 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 woman, British woman, not having any problems with the uh, old lady uh, poking and prodding her. And then and, and she... You know, does a little exhibitions. It's you know for you know showing off her body, but she's not there for that. She's supposed to be there to uh, uh, take care of her, and and of course the uh, uh, her uh, lover assistant. Uh, he's liking the whole idea. I mean, he's really getting a hard on for act the Marilyn Monroe uh, woman. But I'm sure he would have took the uh, e either or the other or the whatever you know. But uh, yeah, the the ideas in this movie is really twist, and I really get a, I, I really like twisted concepts, you know. And uh, there are times when there's it actually is good, uh, be it some photography, you know. There's some good uh, moody black and white shadowy type situations and, and almost uh, uh, resembles like an underground art film or some shit um, and then uh, there's a doc dr. Frank is really my you know he has a monotone with a lot of the lines but then he has this short mo uh, monologue where he ends up doing a actual good performance uh, the woman who plays uh, the old lady, uh, Mrs. March, uh, Marjorie Eaton, uh, I'm not sure how big her part uh, was in, you know, that she played, but uh, she was in uh, uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, I didn't check the other uh, credits, but I checked hers. Yeah, that was the biggest movie she'd she had done so uh, there's some I guess tiny little pedigree there but uh, yeah the atomic brain is is just uh, twisted goofy fun uh, as far as I'm concerned but there is an aspect of a slight bit of tedium I mean I, I made it half hour in I couldn't believe it was uh, <laughs> that that short of a time but I I do get a kick out of the ideas I need a drink of water and there it is <sighs> well anyway uh, that's pretty much it uh, for today's uh, 31 days of horror for Halloween uh, reviews every day except for yesterday but two on Saturday if everything works out uh, 
Until next time, stay safe and always have a good time. Bye now. Ooh.